Hello folks, David Hurley of davidhurley.net here and today we're going to have a look at the progress that I've been making, if any, with my new Bybit trading positions. I blogged fairly recently on the 18th of August 2023, today is the 3rd of September, about my uh, return as the rookie trader by opening a Bybit account and I put into the Bybit account about $130 worth of Bitcoin, which came over from my free Bitcoin account. This is quite a nice way, in my opinion, for you to uh, leverage the free crypto that you've been earning on free Bitcoin. You build up, build up on free Bitcoin, then when you've got enough to uh, open a trading account over on Bybit. And you don't need very much. You don't even need $130. You could do it with $30. You could just send your uh, accumulated free Bitcoin Satoshi across to Bybit and open yourself a nice little account on Bybit. And in the next 10 minutes after that, you can get yourself a trading bot started. So that's what I did. I put $130 worth of crypto into Bybit and then I kept 40 uh, on the spot uh, and I uh, put $90 into a trading bot, a crypto trading bot, which is trading the pairs uh, Bitcoin for USDT, which is a stable coin tied to the US dollar. Now, I did that just after Bitcoin had dropped a few days ago uh, or a couple of weeks ago now. And the moment I opened my trading bot, Bitcoin completely went to sleep. So nothing really happened. I have had nothing much to report for the last couple of weeks. And indeed, there's not very much to report today, but I, I can show you that the bot has been active. So we can see that my $130 is now $128.44. So not too much of a loss here. Uh, the spot is just below the $40. And we come down here for the trading bot. I put in $90. We see it standing at $88.57. Now let's have a look at the trade because it's also showing that on the trading, there is a very small profit, grid profit here. So let's have a look at the details. It is claiming that on at the rate of profits on trades completed so far, I'd be earning 4.98% per annum, which let's face it is not much more than what I'm earning over here on free Bitcoin. I'm earning 4.5% uh, over here, 4.59% per annum on free Bitcoin. My trades over here have yielded just a little bit more, 4.98. But there's also this uh, trading loss here as well. Uh, and where does that come from? Let's see if we can work it out. It says down here that uh, I have made zero trades or the bot has made zero trades in the last 24 hours. And there's been a total of three profitable trades uh, since I opened this up a couple of weeks ago. So let's see what that all involves by going to the history. Now, we can see that we've got several positions. There's 34 positions here. And the ones where it says your sell order is yet to be filled, these are positions that I opened uh, on the 18th of August or rather the bot opened for me. And as we come up, we see there's a new trade here. The next day, uh, there was a buy and then a sell. So the bot bought at this price for me, 25,840 automatically, a small amount of crypto, and it sold it up here for this amount. And so it sold it into USDT, which we can see over here. And then on the 25th of August, it bought another position again at 25. And then it sold when that position uh, went up to 26,711. And on the 1st of September, it bought, it bought that same one. So what happens is when the bot sells a position, it automatically uh, refills the position with a buy order. So the idea is that 
on the grid system, as the bot goes up, it hits one of your grids, which is a buy order or a sell order. It executes that trade automatically and then fills that with the opposite. So if it sells, it will fill it with a buy because it's selling as it goes up uh, at a profit and it will buy as it comes back down. So that's what's happened here. You see, it sold on the way up here and it bought on the way back down here. So then we get on the same day here, it bought that lower one, which is uh, which was set down here. Uh, and it hasn't yet sold that one. So the trading loss, I think, comes from the fee, the fees that you pay on each trade plus when it's bought something that has not yet been uh, been sold, there's no profit gained. As far as I can work out, I'm still trying to work out how all all the details of the stats work. But these are the trades that I've that the bot has made for me so far. So we can see the positions here. Now, this is my first ever trading bot. Inevitably, I've I've learned from how I set this one up. I wouldn't set one up in the same way, but I'm not going to cancel it. I'm going to let it run, see how it does over a long period of time. So Bitcoin right now is at 25,876. So it's kind of right in the middle of my trading positions because um, for the bot to buy, Bitcoin needs to drop to 24,969. For, for it to sell one of my positions, it needs to rise, the price of Bitcoin needs to rise to 26,711. So all the time on my trading bot, the Bitcoin is hovering in the 25,000s, nothing is going to happen. And so we go from 18,000 is the low. I mean, I would quite like to see Bitcoin drop, uh, drop down here and then, of course, come back up uh, with a bit more volatility within my range so that I can, my bot will engage in more trades. And I've got the high, price, high point here of 52,847. The next bot, I'm going to set up another bot uh, later this month, and I'm going to set it up within a narrower range, which uh, more closely reflects where Bitcoin is now. Now, of course, with a more narrowly set up trading bot, it's quite possible that Bitcoin will either drop below your bot's lowest, uh, lowest point, lowest buy point, or will rise and break out above the highest uh, sell point. But in that case, you can simply set up another bot uh, so you can keep tracking Bitcoin with new trading bots. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So one, one new trading bot a month is my thought at the moment. Either that or um, crypto cost average, uh, Satoshi cost average my way into an active trading bot. If, there's a, if I get a trading bot set up that is doing a fair amount of trades and Bitcoin is staying within that range, then that is what I would do is, is each month put an extra bit into that bot, an extra bit of Bitcoin into the Bitcoin bot. Anyway, that's my first update of my minimal progress with a Bitcoin trading bot on Bybit. However, this bot is completely free to run. The only cost is any time a trade goes in, there are the small uh, trading fees, which is great. So there's no monthly fees or anything like that to run a bot on Bybit. So I say to you, get yourself a Bitcoin bot on Bybit. And that's buy from me, David Hurley of davidhurley.net. Until the next exciting Bybit bot video.